さあ勝った不動向打ちかました不動向突っ張った両者激しい突っ張りの応酬猛然と反撃に出た不動向おっと投げますか下から上天武You there, watching this video. You love sumo, you love the N64, so why aren't you playing 64 Ozumo? Released in 1997, 64 Ozumo is one of two sumo wrestling games released for the N64. It was published by a Japanese company called Bottom Up, and like most of their games, 64 Ozumo was never seen outside of Japan. Superficially, 64 Ozumo looks like every other poorly rendered game on the N64, only worse. Textures are broad and flat, and characters look bizarre. Look at the wrestlers' faces and their giant heads. Real sumo wrestlers often have huge noggins, but these are just ridiculous. This guy's head is half the size of his whole body! The story follows one of five novice wrestlers entering their first tournament. It's up to you to help them all the way to the top. When 64 Ozumo came out, people actually cared about sumo. It represented everything good about Japan. These days, the sport is dominated by foreigners and plagued by match-fixing scandals. More Japanese people are watching baseball. The game is a romantic look back at a whimsical time when sumo was good, plain, and thoroughly Japanese. Everyone you meet hails you as some kind of celebrity, no matter how well you do in the tournaments. Women fawn over you. You date almost every single woman in the story. All of them look past your giant head and see the strong man within. Men don't get to deviate from their gender script either, since their role is to either beat the crap out of you or teach you how to beat the crap out of someone else. Gameplay is incredibly easy to master. You move around the sumo ring before slamming into your opponent and tossing him off the field. I won nearly 90% of my matches by just pushing right and mashing the right C button. I'm sure there's some kind of technique involved, but I never figured it out. There are 15 matches for every tournament, and you'll play through a lot of tournaments, so you'll have the time to form your own playstyle. As you progress through the game, you're awarded stars to upgrade your wrestling moves and learn some new ones as well. Once in a great while, you get to play minigames. These are a rare treat that break the monotony of the sumo bouts, yet they happen so infrequently that you often forget about them. In my favorite minigame, you dream of rolling around a secluded island collecting stars to increase your stats. Another minigame pits you against your date at a restaurant. You have to battle the woman of your dreams for the choice meats in a hot pot. The bigger the jerk you are, the better food you can eat, making you a better wrestler. If the single player story isn't enough, there is a multiplayer mode where you can wrestle against your friends. If you can corral three other people together, you can even hold your own sumo tournament. I wish I could describe more of the game, but that's all there really is. The game goes cutscene, sumo match, another sumo match, cutscene, sumo match, yet another sumo match, and an occasional minigame thrown in. The fights are fast and exciting, yet it feels like you just plow through the same repeated match until the end of the game. Only the backgrounds appear to change. Of all the sumo games I've ever played, this was one of them. Actually, it's the only sumo game I've ever played. The story is mildly entertaining, if only for how Japanese it is. The graphics are endearing in a so-bad-they're-good kind of way. Matches go quickly, even if each one feels like the same 20 seconds on repeat. The game's features don't add up, yet 64 Ozumo does have a certain kind of quaint charm to it. How often do you get to play a sumo game, especially on the N64? That doesn't make it a great game, or even a good one. If you love sumo and the N64, check it out. Under any other circumstances, pass. With everything said and done, I give 64 Ozumo three gargantuan heads. If there's a Japanese import game you want me to look at, or anything else you want to see, tweet at me or leave a comment below this video. Thanks for watching and mahalo.